Okay, I'm making another video showing some of the pictures that I have taken of light. And I'm going to advance them one at a time and take more time so that you have time to see them before the next one comes. This one reminds me of a flower. And this one's unusual in that it's got a dark, um, right here, there's this dark spot through it. And this is very unusual. Some people say, well, this is just light refraction. And there's a lot of pictures out there of light refraction that I've been looking at, but they don't look quite like what I'm getting here. There's some unusual formations of light. And uh, if it's refraction and it's something the camera does, well, my eyes also see this and my eyes aren't cam a camera lens. Look at this one up close. See all those little circles? There's bigger circles and smaller circles. Circles touching each other and some crisscrossing each other. Very unusual for a light refraction to do something like that. This is a closer up. Closer up of those little circles. And then there's just no accounting for all the things if you just write it all off as light refraction. Now see this dark part here? I call him Harry because he seems to dart in and out of the pictures uh, as I take him. He's really hard to capture sometimes because he won't stay still. But I have managed to get him several times in spite of that fact. And there's a few other little dark images that dart in and out of these pictures. Again, there's little circles all in each of these when you can look up real close into it. And this is Christmas Day. There's noises in the house of people getting ready to go to Grandma's house where we have a big feast. Now this picture I took of the sun and uh, look at all the orbs that come out of the sun. There's my friend Gerald. He and I were taking pictures all over the place in Arizona, <laughs> going up in the mountains. Look, there's one right there that's rather colorful, an orb. I had a piece of glass that I looked through. Sometimes I was using it and sometimes I just had not, didn't have it in front of me, in front of the camera. And still, the sun shot out all these little orbs. We were having a lot of fun with it. We made it look like he was worshiping the sun, you know, with his arms up there. And look, this is a cute one. I like this one. And this one. And look at this one. The sun, or e even a light in the house, shoots out this purple rod. Only in this picture it looks red. Usually you don't get catch it in a still picture. But I caught it in this one. It just flashed right over his face so that you can't even see his face there for that purple rod, which looks pink. And there I try to get it where one of the little orbs would be in his hand. Now these orbs that are round, they have this little edge around that I'm pointing to. And you see that in a lot of the other pictures I will be showing. You'll see that little edge. 
because this orb can twist like a pretzel. It can elongate itself like a ribbon or it can fan out like a fan. It can make turns of 90 degrees or even more acute than that. And you'll see some pictures where it does that. It has colors in it and lines. And it's always morphing. It's always changing from one thing to another. I will be showing some of the movies I made of the light. But right now I'm just working with the still pictures. And these little orbs of light, they just pass through other orbs. And oftentimes, a, a, a dark spot will form in it where all the color is falling out and going into another orb. Now this one, this picture here makes me think, hmm, the quantum physicists that are talking about string theory may be right. I think the theory goes something like this, that everything is made of little strings of light. So here's a good picture that could show how that might possibly could be for all is light. I like this one. It looks like a wine bottle. It's really strange. Here's another one of the stringy lights. It's like the orb just twisted itself up in knots. Another one. And now, pretty Easter egg light. <laughs> and look at this one. See, this is that little round orb. See, you see the edges of it, how it folds and how it makes corners. And each of these long strands is another whole orb of light that could fan out from this one orb. And here's where it's doing its fanning out. And this, I don't know what to call this, but when I saw this completely through, this light enters into the one above. It's like the snake that eats its tail. Another one of the stringy ones. And color. This is not color that was like added. Some people do art of, of the nature of this that I'm showing you, but they shine light colors, laser light colors into what they're taking pictures of. But this is not that. This is just the color that is in the light. And it is quite magnificently blended together and all natural. <laughs> and see these orbs can flatten at one end, flatten at the other end. They, they do so many things. They roll up. This one you see is rolled up. Here's one that's entering into another one and it looks like an alligator mouth. This one's about to eat its, its light bullet. And this is just the light streaming down in so many arrays of color. Oh, and look at this one. I've often tried to explain this. When I see light, I see it as a disc, and it looks on its side to be like a coin. You see that thickness there? That would be on this, this one as well right here that I'm pointing to. And all of these, because... That is part of the structure of these orbs, is that they have a thickness. Well, that's, I, I really love this photo. And again, I did nothing to bring color to it. This color is just there. Sometimes I move my camera in really close to get a close-up inside the orb. Another very colorful one. And another. This one's kind of a mishmash of a lot of things. I really love this one because it's, you can see little cluster balls of color inside of this. And when I'm looking with the naked eye, and I'm not using a camera, I see 
a, it's kind of like a peacock's feathers, how they spread out. Well, I see a whole range of these little things here in little pockets, like feather-like, like a peacock's feather spread out. And there's no definition of a circle. It's just all a panorama of lines. I, I wish I could draw it, but it just seems too impossible. But I would tell you that there's a lot of these little things in it. And each one that I see out of different um, views from what I look through is just a bunch of marbles. I've, I think I've shown you that in other videos. Each panorama is a little different from the next. Real similar, but different. Makes me think we live in a multiverse of realities. And look at the color of that one. Isn't that astonishing? I'm thinking I'm going to take some of these pictures and make a collage of them. Put them on my wall. Now look at that one making a twist. You can see its movement. I caught it in action, but then of course they're all in action. This light doesn't stay still for a moment. Just when I capture it with a click of the camera, I might get it to stay still. Now, see the little orb? You see the little black ring around the edge of it? You see what it can do in this one? It can fold up like an envelope. And this one's like a piece of paper that's that's maybe scroll-like. And if there is such a thing as a book of light that our names are written in, well, I think I see a book of light in the light. <laughs> I don't hold to all that's in the Bible, but sometimes I do refer to it. Now this is the one I think looks like a fan. And uh, there's the light source right there. And you can see this comes directly out of the light into this form. It doesn't... I've got other pictures that show the light coming out and it's kind of a teardrop shape as it comes out. But this came out and directly went into this kind of uh, fan. And if you see, this is the same little round orb. You see the roundness of this end right here. And you see the little lines. It's amazing. Here's a configuration. Sometimes the light goes three ways like this and makes this little triangle, which I think is very beautiful. And this one... You can see that this is the uh, the little orb, but folded, and it looks like it has many orbs within orbs folded as little streams of of light that actually would each one of them I think would fan out and make an orb, and it might fan out and make a fan, it might fan out and make something very colorful. See how these are doing? See, they, this one fanned out, and now it's got some color right there. But this one right behind it is not as colorful. But they contrast each other very well. And look at this one. It's full of all kinds of design. And the one right by its side is rather translucent. I like this one, too. Look, these little... Oh, bands of light come out to this point and then fall down. And this one comes out a lesser way and then falls down. Each one is moving and doing its thing. Uh, I don't think there's any rules about what it will do. It seems to have, be intelligent enough to do what it wills itself to do. But there may be that we have a connection with what light will do. Because in the first place, this light wouldn't be seen without a person seeing it, which is me or my camera. So we're part of the picture. 
Okay, here, here you go, the teardrop shape coming from the source of light, which is this lead light I have that's got a pink color to it. And so it's the source of this light right here. And I see this with my eyes, too. It just comes right directly as one of the beams of light coming from that source. It comes out here like a little teardrop, but it's actually an orb that will unfold and who knows what kind of shape it will go into from there. Here's an interesting one. It's got a little speck of color in there beginning to form. Oh, and look at this one. I'm delighted with this one. It's, it looks like a microphone. Look at all the little pods of light in it. This one is developing a dark hole that happens quite a lot. It, the orb will lose its light and it goes into another orb or somewhere else, I don't know. Over here, this is a light source that we were using. So don't pay any attention to that. Here's another one as it comes from the light, making its little teardrop shape. And then one that's preceded it has made this and then sent color all through it. And then you see the rod that looks pink, but it's actually purple when I see it. It comes from the light, and it just comes down like a little bouncy ball. Light is very strange. See, this one is ribboning out, and it can just twirl around and around and around like a ribbon would until there's such a maze of lines that it's hard to tell what it's doing. Here's another one where there's a light that has bubbled up like this and another light has entered into it. And there's one emerging right there from it. Sometimes I see this and it's like the light that goes inside the one that's open to it will exclude out of itself other light orbs. I know that sounds weird, but that's what I see sometimes. This one I think is very beautiful. It reminds me of a mushroom or something like that. And look at this one, like little mushrooms. Or you could say, oh, a sea creature. One of the jellyfish or something. This one had a dark spot, just suddenly it's there. <laughs> and look, it makes a, a square. The light makes a 90 degree angle right there. This one's real unusual. It's very long, it's got markings in it. It's got other orbs of light inside of it. Okay, now here, this one was round, and right in the middle of the round orb, it began doing the twist, <laughs> and it just twisting itself like a bow tie. Very unusual looking. And why would light do that? Because it's refraction of light. Why would one just say, oh, I'll do the twist. Another piece of light say, well, I'll make a tube. I'll swallow my tail. I will burst into tiny little strings. I mean, here's a stringy one. Who's to say why it looks this way? And another one looks maybe this way. See how this one is curling? Here it's almost curled into a loop right there. And you see another beam of light going through that. You can get some very unusual pictures. And this one's very interesting. I'm about to get to the end. I only put 87 pictures together. I have more than a thousand pictures. This is very interesting. 
looks almost like a face there. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. <laughs> but you can always make faces out of things if you look at something long enough. I see this one made a ribbon, but it's not exactly all the same size. Every part of it, it kind of makes a mountain-like sculpture there with all that color in it. They just twist and turn and do all kinds of things. This is my last one to show you. This I call a set of bowls because you can see this one, it's fallen over and you see part of the roundness of it dipped down on the other side. And all of these did that and it made them look like a set of bowls. A strange set of light bowls. Well, I'm going to end this video now and go to a Christmas dinner. And I hope to get some comments from anyone who wishes to say anything other than this is just light refraction. Because I have gone out there and looked at light refraction images on Google. And I don't see the pictures like what I'm getting. Okay, this is the Dove Lady over and out for now.